Have you ever thought about parallel worlds, other dimensions, and the multiverse? The evidence for the multiverse may now be very clear. Scientists have found several indications of the existence of other worlds in the universe, and it may even be very easy to make contact with these dimensions. Do you sometimes have the feeling that someone is talking to you that you can't see? Or do you have dreams that keep repeating themselves? Then you may be in contact with another dimension without knowing it. The idea of the existence of other dimensions and universes is a controversial topic that is viewed from completely different points of view in science, religion, and philosophy. It sounds crazy, but it's becoming increasingly likely that there are other realities beyond our perception. Quantum mechanics, in particular, provides evidence of this. But even traditional astronomy can no longer close its eyes to the evidence. We may even be on the verge of discovering new worlds. Even great psychiatrists, such as Sigmund Freud and Carl Gustav Jung, suggested that dreams can be windows into other dimensions. It's possible that these worlds are as real as this one, and that we switch back and forth with our consciousness or live a double life in our sleep. Some branches of science also see the existence of mythical creatures as a connection to fantastic dimensions in other worlds. Fascinatingly, ideas of dragons, elves, or demons appear almost everywhere in the world and within cultures that had no contact with each other when these myths came into the world. Some mystery schools or spiritual currents tell of dimensions in which enlightened masters, spirits, and beings beyond our imagination reign. We can supposedly make contact via various disciplines of spiritual training, meditation, or special spirit invocations. But if you would like to try this out, be warned because not all beings in these dimensions are considered friendly and helpful. The Vedas knew it. The idea of colorful dimensions with the heavens, of the gods and realms for the deceased and nature beings, sounds magical. For the Vedas, this idea was a reality. The Vedas were a mystical and very highly developed people who lived in areas of present-day India and Sri Lanka. 1,200 years ago and more, these people were able to accurately reproduce complex cosmic events. The Vedas developed stainless iron and used a mysterious language with which they could supposedly transcend the boundaries to the divine. For the Vedas, our world was an illusory world, the Maya, an illusion of archetypes and light in which we, as embodied souls, stay for a while to gain experience. After death, people travel on to other dimensions in the imagination of these people. In Hinduism, the religion that emerged from the Vedas, believers still recognize the lokas, meaning different levels or worlds that can be both material and spiritual in nature. The higher lokas are reserved for gods and divine beings, while the lower ones are inhabited by humans and other beings. This idea reflects a kind of cosmic multiverse that we also find in a slightly different form among the ancient Germanic and Northern peoples. Their world of gods, humans, ice giants, and dwarves comprise nine worlds or dimensions. The idea of many worlds can be found in a striking number of traditional societies and religions. Only we in the civilized societies of the West seem to have completely lost these ideas. But that is now changing. The latest findings from quantum mechanics are alarming, and the multiverse is becoming more and more likely. Schrodinger's cat is the proof. Erwin Schrodinger, a German physicist and quantum expert, put forward a hypothesis in 1935 based on observations of the nature of quanta. The double slit experiment proved that quanta, as the building blocks of matter, only assume a defined state when they are measured or observed. Before that, they remain in a state of possibility. Schrodinger devised his famous cat experiment to help people understand the resulting superposition of states in the quantum world. Imagine you have a box containing a cat. In this box, there is also a radioactive atom that can decay at a random time. When the atom decays, a mechanism is triggered, a hammer smashes the vial containing a deadly poison, and the cat dies. If the atom does not disintegrate, the cat stays alive. Now, the strange thing about quantum mechanics comes into play. According to the laws of this theory, the radioactive atom can be in a state of superposition, which means that it can decay and not decay at the same time. As long as the box is closed and you don't open it, the cat is in a state of superposition. It is alive and dead at the same time. Only when you open the box and observe the cat does its state collapse into a certain state. 
This means that the moment you see the cat, you will either see a living cat or a dead one, depending on whether the atom has decayed or not. The idea is that in a multiverse, all possible outcomes superimposed in the quantum world actually occur. This means that there is a universe in which the cat lives and a universe in which the cat dies. Each time the box is open, the universe splits into two separate universes, one for each possible outcome. In practice, this would mean that each of your measurements, in other words, observations, or thoughts create a new reality, or that you branch off into other realities through your expectations without noticing any of this in everyday life. This crazy idea is underlined by an extension of Schrodinger's experiment. Wigner's Friend is another quantum physics thought experiment developed by Eugene Wigner in the 1960s. In this experiment, Wigner and his friend work in separate rooms. While Wigner carries out the experiment, his friend joins him later and measures the result. So here, two measurements and several superimpositions take place, and the question arises as to whether, and for how long, Wigner and his friend are still in the same universe, and whether they turn off into parallel worlds at different outcomes of the measurements. Neither Wigner nor his friend would physically disappear as a result. At least that's what we assume, but according to quantum mechanics, it could well be that Wigner and his friend have countless doppelgangers who live in every conceivable outcome of the measurements. What does Professor Laura Mercini Houghton know? Professor Laura Mercini Houghton from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill is internationally regarded as the expert on the multiverse. She not only has extensive knowledge about the nature of the multiverse, but can also clearly prove her theses. She is convinced that traces of the multiverse can be seen everywhere in the cosmic background radiation. The cosmic background radiation is a remnant of the Big Bang and consists of electromagnetic radiation that is distributed throughout the universe. The professor argues that before the Big Bang, all possible universes were crowded together in a tiny space and influenced each other. We know these interactions today as cold spots in the cosmic background radiation. The professor's theory on black holes is also fascinating. Her calculations have shown that relatively small black holes that lie below a certain threshold are not stable in themselves and could transform into so-called white holes. These white holes then appear in a parallel universe, and researchers there may be puzzling over their origin, just as we here are pondering the nature of the mysterious black holes. Only recently, researchers in the USA proved that a completely new cosmos can theoretically be created within black holes. This confirms theories that the mysterious dark giants are portals to other dimensions and worlds. What other evidence do we have? One hotly debated indication of the multiverse is the aforementioned cosmic background radiation. This radiation, which originates from the Big Bang, shows irregularities or anomalies in its distribution that cannot yet be explained unless we consider the existence of other universes then the irregularities can be very well explained by interactions with other universes, and there is even mathematical evidence for this. Another possible proof is the extragalactic anomalies observed in the distribution of galaxies in the universe. Some regions of the universe appear to be more densely populated with galaxies than others. This could indicate the existence of so-called bubble universes, which have close interactions with our own universe and influence the distribution of galaxies. A third clue are the void structures, large, empty regions in the universe where few galaxies exist. These voids are difficult to explain if they are only considered within the framework of the physical laws of our own universe. Some theories therefore suggest that these voids indicate interactions between different areas of the multiverse, making certain areas of space emptier than others. Some researchers also see dark energy as important evidence for the multiverse. The true nature of dark energy is one of the great mysteries of physics. Some theories suggest that it could be attributed to interactions between different universes. This could explain why dark energy is so much stronger than would be expected based on the local density of matter. Let's go back to the world of quantum physics now. Here too, phenomena such as quantum entanglement can serve as further evidence for the existence of the multiverse. In quantum entanglement, particles exist in a state of superposition in simple terms, this means that the particles apparently exist in other places besides their position in our universe. And these other places are very likely worlds outside the cosmos that we can see and experience. 
In practical terms, this would mean that events in one universe could have an impact on other universes. Our actions here would therefore be inextricably linked to actions and events in parallel worlds. This brings us back to the beginning and the exciting question of whether we can make contact with other universes, and if so, how? With this new knowledge, realize once again that every word you speak and every action you take could have an impact on other worlds. If we believe in string theory, other dimensions exist in our universe in a way that is difficult to imagine. String theory attempts to bring together the world of quanta with the classical physics of large material phenomena, but it can only succeed if there are at least six more dimensions and they could start right under your nose. Don't miss out on the upcoming top videos and subscribe to the channel now.